go is nothing short of astonishing, even for meteorologists. Now, yesterday we had feels like temperatures up to 125 degrees, the kind of heat that in some cases we've never seen. Now, the feels like temperature is a combination of the humidity and the temperature, too. So the humidity is really high on the island. So what's happening on the north side of the island and exactly why are we seeing all this heat right now? Let's talk about it. So first, let's address why it's so hot or it feels so hot on the north side of the island. It's a big mountain range right here. And when winds are out of the south, it downslopes. That wind downslopes and it causes compressional heating. So it gets hotter up here, but everybody is seeing very high dew points, a lot of humidity, and that is coming from the southeast. So the winds are from the southeast transporting all that moisture north. We have a monster heat dome that's forming on the east side of the island. And oh, by the way, water temperature in the North Atlantic are at record levels, not just at record levels, but way above where we've ever seen them before. One of the one of the reasons for this is climate change. Yes, water temperatures in the Caribbean and across the tropical Atlantic are about a degree and a half, maybe two degrees above where they should be. But in addition, every year we have a different distribution of where the warm water is, relatively speaking, and where the cooler water is. And this year it happens that a lot of that warm water is in the tropics. So lots of stuff is going on, but there's more to this. One of the reasons is we have a lot of Saharan dust, big pocket of Saharan dust, drier in the middle levels, and that allows more sunshine to get through, less clouds form because it is dry. So that makes it even hotter on the island. And then this last one's really interesting. So there's the big heat dome in the upper part of the atmosphere. And we have an extremely, an extraordinarily amplified pattern across North America right now. That means really big dips and troughs and big ridges in the jet stream. So a very, very wavy jet stream. So what is going on? Well, one of the things we think is happening is climate change. So at the poles, we're seeing uneven heating as compared to the middle latitudes. It's warming much faster up there than it is down here. And that uneven distribution of heating is causing the jet stream to do really berserk things, if you will. In addition, we're seeing a very blocky pattern that starts to develop because of that. Notice this big ridge of high pressure. Canada so far over the past month plus, we've seen a lot of heat and a tremendous amount of fires up there because of that. And we also have this big dip in the jet stream right there. So that's number one. We think climate change is contributing. Also, El Nino is forming down here in the tropics in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Now, we have a strong subtropical jet stream. The subtropical jet stream is a characteristic of El Nino, but typically during the winter time. What's going on right now? Why do we have such a strong subtropical jet stream? Part of it is due to the fact that we have such a crazy polar jet stream, which is dipping all the way to the south because of the blocky pattern. But in addition, undoubtedly, this subtropical jet stream and all the warm water in the eastern Pacific is adding fuel and energy, which is causing this very uh, extraordinary jet stream and this big heat dome that's forming to the northeast of San Juan. El Nino hasn't formed yet. It's in the process of forming right now, and it's going to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Add that on top of climate change and historically warm oceans, and what we're going to have is extremes this year, the rest of this year into next year, that we have never observed before.